Good morning. Well, this is Barbara in Little Rock, and I just got a call, uh, well, messages from up in the hills, and they said it's snowing. So everybody's getting anxious to get out and, uh, and get in their uh, sleighs and four-wheelers and play in the snow. And I'm so happy for them. I wish I was up there. But I know they're going to have a great time. And uh, me and me and Connor, we're sitting here for a little bit. Yes, that's the Connor. And we've been crocheting this morning. I'm putting a border on this uh, blanket that I'm making. And I've done a, a really unique border I've never done before. And it's one where you, uh, I wonder if I can show it to you or not here. Hmm. Well, I may have to show you when it's finished because, uh, anyway, it's a wraparound post kind of crochet. So when you crochet, you go around the back and it makes it look like it's got a, like a cable around it. And I was going to go with like a fan kind of border because the fan uh, uh, design in the actual blanket that I made. But I'm sort of, I'm really liking that of uh, vertical lines going across there all around the edges of it. If I had, I would put white on it, but I'm not sure whether she would like uh, white on it. But I think it would be, give it a snap. But anyway, I may decide to do that in a little bit. But I, uh, <laughs> yes, that's my Connor. He said up here on my lap. Well, I wanted to tell you I got letters, and uh, and I'm also uh, making my Valentine card. Got a few to send off. I've sent off some already. These are ones that I painted, and there's no name on it, of course, yet. But uh, there's my list, and uh, so. And the us, uh, what I'm doing today, isn't it? Well, I got I got a letter from uh, Lois. I think I read you this one, but I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes I re forget or I reread the letters because I'm so tickled to hear from somebody, you know. And it says it's... Uh, I think I have read you this one. Uh, this is from uh, Lois up in, I mean, in um, Dallas, Virginia. I think that's it. Yes, I know I've read it to you now. But I bet they're getting snow over there. If they're not, they will be soon. And Becky sent her, they said they're soon, uh, you know, uh, it's working out real well in their ministry. And she sent me some new material because of the lectionary thing. She feels real strongly about uh, having faith that everything will work out and become better. Uh, if we just stick to our principles of living. Yes. She sent me a little brochure, which I think was nice. She lives up in... Uh, Cherokee Village up there. And let's see. And I received a letter from Suzanne. And I think I read this one to you too. Pretty sure that's that's. Uh, I've read that one too. A little box is getting pretty full over here of letters. This has got a little puppy on it. This is from Sharon. Up in around here, you know, up in Williford, and 
and she's well, she's the one making the quilts from her Mary's husband who had passed and uh, she had asked uh, Sharon if she'd make quilts out of his shirts says Mary wanted me to cut all of Harvey's shirts to make a quilt out of them we finally came up with an idea of scrap type quilt I have cut at least 1600 squares been doing the quilts for months squares are six inches a after sewing them together the square becomes a five inch square I have made five king size and two queen size quilts. We take quilt tops to a lady in Pocahontas and she makes the quilts. She provides the padding and quilt backing. You have a choice of what stitch you want the quilt to have. A very nice lady and does an excellent job. Thank goodness there's no more squares to sew. Never did I think when I said I would help, it would involve so much time and work. Just glad the quilts are done. Yeah, congratulations, Sharon. <laughs> I bet so. Oh my, I'm glad I didn't have any more shirts. <laughs> oh, that would have been pitiful. My old man used to have so many shirts. He had them out in the, he had them all in the closet and in the washroom, and then he built this business building for our business, and it, his shirts were in there, too. <laughs> well, he said, she said, I've learned to drive Jimmy's new handicap van. That's her brother. Only because we have, only because we had a terrible outing. J Jimmy wants a female cat. So we went to Cher Cherokee Village Animal Place. Lots of problems starting when, when Jimmy's wheelchair wouldn't go through the door. Oh. <laughs> Where the cats were housed. So he used his walker to go in and look. Didn't like any of the cat. How do you not like a cat? I don't know about that. When he got back in the wheelchair, it wouldn't start. So I had to go get the van where we were parked at. Then we had to push the wheelchair up the ramp to get it back into the van. Both of us used muscles we'd never used in years. We couldn't get wheelchair in a van, so I asked the lady who was working to help, please help us. Finally got the chair in the van, and Jimmy got in the driver's seat, and home we went. Jimmy lives in his wheelchair now. Does very little walking anymore. He has a man from the VA to come and help him three times a week. Neither my son and I can always be there to help him. And Jimmy, her brother, really needs a pet. But he says, I was, she said, I, was, I had a nice day today, so I got my chainsaw out and started cutting trees that looked like they were rotting. Don't want trees falling over the road. <laughs> yes, because if they fall on the road, she can't get in and out to her house. Couldn't go check the mail. And because she's got a creek that runs across the bottom of her property and the road comes over that. So she has to be very cautious now. Uh, says all her family is good. And, uh, and uh, let's see. Life is boring now. I have to check the computer to see what day it is sometimes. Aren't we all like that? Aren't we all? Maybe that's old age. Well, all the political stuff is... Is what it is. Life will never be the same, if we think. And uh, I used to be a news junkie, but now no more, no more. Says uh, the cats are doing well. It come morning, those cats are at the door wanting their milk. So they've had a mysterious visitor eating some of the the cat's food. I wonder what that could be. Raccoon. Fox, possum, other cats. 
mountain lion, <laughs> bears, wolves. Oh, you know when you're out of the country, who knows what's out there. Anyway, she says have a big hug. I love hearing from you, Sharon, especially when you start getting out your heavy-duty tools. <laughs> oh, let's see. I've read that one already. Yeah, this is Susie. Down. She's just moved to Florida. She said she's getting all settled in. Sorry about the phone ringing. <laughs> the best man was here. So, uh, and, and Marsha called at the same time. So, uh, I couldn't figure out what to do. So, I turned you off. I'm sorry. But anyway. So I got a letter from Susie, and uh, she said that she's doing well, and they're feeling well. But it's been raining a lot down in Florida, but it, and the cool, but not terribly, terribly cold. And she's got everything in her two rooms all decorated. And she got her a, a little uh, fireplace. You know, if you've seen them, the little wrought iron, the little wrought iron, they got the little glass fronts in them. And they look like fires in them, but they're really electric heater. And she put one in her bedroom. Now, this woman decorates the most enchanting rooms. And she's got, like, gray carpet and white walls, as if I understand. All her furniture is, is white. And then she has white uh, lace and, can not candles, but twinkle lights and mirrors. And so she has now a little fireplace in there. So they can watch, you know, Hallmark movies and and have the ambiance, the fireplace. And so they've really settled in well, and I'm, I'm happy for them. Plus, she says she can step outside, and okay, there's the pool, so she's going to set up like a veranda. And then she's got a little area out front that she has an area where she can sit in, by the front of the house. And the house is huge, so uh, her son and his wife own the house. So it's so big, and it's got an open uh, floor plan, so there's plenty of room for them. And uh, so they've done really, really, really well. Chuck just turned 80. Hard to believe. Hmm. Time just goes right on by, for sure. And let's see, she talks about her house and Chuck turning 80. <laughs> and he still, uh, you know, has a hard time walking around. He's got no neuropathy like I do, except this is much more severe than mine because he's diabetic. Uh, and uh, let's see. She says, hugs and love bunches. And from Lily, too. <laughs> Lily's her little tiny schnauzer. And uh, Lily's blind, but she can get around pretty well when she knows where everything is, you know. Isn't it amazing how puppies can do that? I guess people can do the same thing if they try. If they try. Well, the past man's come, and I'm going to go back to crocheting as soon as I fix something for lunch. Connor, what would we want for lunch today? Got anything on your mind? Yeah, I got meals on wheels today, so I have a wild selection. I think meatloaf might be what we'll have today. I've got bread and butter and some garlic and uh, maybe a glass of milk mm -hmm. and some jello. And I got a whole bag of almonds. A whole bag of almonds. Uh, one of the guys here went to the food bank and got a bunch of food. Cheeses and all these things. I guess they're from Kroger's uh, who donate their food and stuff to them. 
food bank. And so Eddie, who has a car, not like the rest of us, didn't have a car. He runs and uh, picks us up some stuff. And so, uh, yeah, I got back almonds. Almonds. I bet, I bet it's a three-pound bag. <laughs> I've eaten them. I, I, I love them on uh, Jell-O. Don't you love them on Jell-O? You know, people don't want to eat Jell-O like they used to. But I still enjoy it. And I get those little cups, you know, where I have them handy. And that, that was good. Anyway, I'm drifting. So it's time for me to leave for today. There's nothing really exciting to go in on. I did. Probably there's letters I hadn't read. But I'm so disorganized, I just re pick them out of the box. See this little box here? These are letters, see? And what I do is I just pull up one. Here's a recipe I'm going to send to Sharon. She's, she likes cooking uh, Mexican food. And this one's called uh, Easy Chicken Quesadilla. I think she'll she'll try that. Or she won't. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes, she gets in her cooking moods. And uh, when I was there, she's always bring me something, you know. She fixed uh, burritos and, oh, just believe it, cookies like you wouldn't believe. Well, I've told you that before, I'm sure. Anyway, me and Connor are going to go. I'm not going to look in this box. I got to get back to my crocheting because I'm only um, six days away from Pat's birthday, which is Tuesday, so she'll be here Monday. I don't want to make sure that's that's done. So anyway, I hope you have a good day. And uh, I know it's about I talked about really nothing today, but it's been a cloudy day. I thought maybe you would be gone by now. We haven't been out to the dog park yet, but we've got everything else done. So I hope you have a great day and, um, uh, let's see. Mm, oh yeah. Remember God has you in his hands and pray for mother earth. Okay.